Hi guys, it's Renee. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a makeup artist testing technique. So what we are going to talk about today is clown contouring. So clown contouring was originally called corrective contouring. So it's where you're using different concealer colors to correct issues within your skin. So this particular technique came out into prevalence in the last couple of weeks. It was coming to the mainstream um, attention in the last couple of weeks. Um, so there's two girls on Instagram. Um, their names are Bella June and Makeup by Arlo. Um, they pretty much did a video um, on Instagram. It's one of those really quick videos as a hater is going to hate thing because people were calling them clowns for the amount of makeup that they were going to get so it's kind of, they were using so it's kind of like hey haters this is what we're doing um so that's the reason they did it and it's kind of take off and taken a life of its own which is you know great that it's coming to the conscious of a lot of the mainstream people because this is a technique that has i believe it was created in the 40s um but it was redefined in the 60s so it's something that's used a lot in um things like movies and television and print media um like photography and you know drag it's used a lot in drag. I first um, came to know about this after watching some drag videos about a good five years ago or something like that. Sorry. Um, and, you know, it was always called corrective contouring is what I knew about it. So, you know, you can learn a lot from drag. Sorry, Teddy's like being annoying. You can learn a lot from drag videos because a lot of the makeup techniques that are being used today are actually being taken from drag but if you are going to do that you just got to remember these are biological males who are trying to soften their features in their face to then make them look more feminine so if you're a female copying these techniques you just need to soften it because if you're a biological female because you know your facial structure is typically not as rigid as a man's so um, we are just going to have a quick chat about this particular technique. So there's multiple ways you can do it. So the two that I've seen or one that I've seen a lot of and the other that I've known about and have done in the past, I will talk about. So the first one is using all your corrective shades and your concealers um, and not putting any foundation over top, just powdering over it. Um, to give that finish the second one that i've always known how to do is using you know your corrective colors and then putting some light foundation over the top um to kind of make sure everything blends out and then powdering yourself as well to set your makeup now a lot of people have been seeing doing this have been coming out gray so and also those same people that are coming out gray are using these colors in the way that they're not meant to be used so you want to make sure when you are using these corrective shades that you're using them appropriately so your things like your greens they um, help to diminish the rosacea or the redness in your skin um, you know your yellows dark under eyes um, circles depending on how dark they are it's depending on what color you go with Mine aren't overly dark, so I can get away with using yellow, but if they're very dark, you may want to consider the pinker colours. The lavender is typically used for yellowing in the skin, so people that um, may have some liver disorders may or kidney disorders can have some yellowing in the skin like jaundice um, and it helps to even that out or just you know yellow bruisings so you do want to be careful about how you use the colors because they do have an intended purpose um, on how they are used so we are going to do this today because this is a really really long video I am not going to talk through it I'm just going to there's be bit of silence I'm sorry um, and then we're going to at the end you know you guys can tell me what you think um, of this particular technique so yeah so we're gonna get on it and it will go a little bit quick because this is a lot a lot of product I will forewarn you 
it's really a massive amount of product so you have to be able to blend really well as well um, with your skin and make it look flawless you don't want to look cakey you want to look flawless and you don't want to look gray which is what a lot of them are actually coming out looking like so you know I hope everyone I hope you enjoy this video um, I do have my concealers here so I'm only going to use corrective concealers that my skin needs because using everything under the sun is really counterproductive. So um, I hope everyone enjoys this video. If you do have any questions, hit me up in the comment box down below um, and I try to answer as much as I can. If you do enjoy this video, give us a thumbs up um, and also... You know, I will have the product list down below in my description bar. Everything I'm using is considered drugstore products, so they're not expensive. They're pretty inexpensive. So we're going to get on this. So I'm just going to show you the clown car and dorm part. I won't show you how I do my eyes because it's going to take forever. This technique is a really, really long technique, as I said. So I don't want to bore everyone senseless, pretty much. So, um, thank you so much for watching and we will get started.
Okay, so that is all my clown contouring or corrective contouring all done as well as my makeup. So as I said, it is a long, long process and it is not something that you would want to do every day because it takes so incredibly long to do. But you know, for that special occasion, you know, going to a wedding or it's your birthday and you're turning like 21 or 18 or 30 or what have you or you know 50 or 60 whatever age you're turning you know it can be a really nice look for a really special occasion um it's just not an everyday look at all because of the amount of product that you're putting on your face um it does kind of feel a little bit heavy in regards to the foundation and the concealers and what have you we've got literally about you know we've got primer concealers, a small amount of foundation, blush, um, highlighter, you know, you've got five layers of, you know, of makeup and that's a lot of layers. So, you know, if you are going to do this, I would recommend setting an hour or an hour and a half aside to do this because it does take so long. Also, you know, do practice it. If you are going to do wanting to do it, then practice it before you the event rolls around because you want to make sure that you can blend everything out properly. So you can see I'm all blended out quite nicely. So it does take a little bit of technique and a little bit of work to blend your whole face out. It literally it took half an hour for me to properly blend my face out. Um, maybe not for maybe 20 minutes um, because it is such a long process um, and just to put even on my face took about 15 minutes <laughs> because it was just so much uh, and that was just you know the contour color and then the concealers and the highlighting and that just took so long so yeah I mean it is sometimes worthwhile trying these techniques and you know it is a worthwhile technique to use. Um, just be aware, in person, it may look quite cakey, whereas it comes out brilliantly on video or on cameras or, you know, things like that. So as you can see, my beautiful face is all done. So I hope you did enjoy this video and, you know, you give it a go. If you do give it a go, let me know in the comments down below and I'll definitely watch your videos um, in regards to this particular technique. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you did enjoy it, give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments or anything like that, hit me up in the comments down below and I'll try to answer as much as I can. Um, I hope everyone is having a great week and that you having fun no matter what you're doing so thank you so much for joining me spend time with me tonight um i hope everyone has an awesome rest of their week and i will see you all again later bye